It is Santa Clarita's hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. Make sure you go to hometownstation.com for all the latest and greatest in the Santa Clarita Valley. Speaking of the greatest in Santa Clarita, we have some very special guests in studio. <laughs> and um, I, one of the great things about our community is we have this beautiful performing arts center, and it's over at College of the Canyons. One of the, uh, one of the productions that is coming right around the corner, Friday, May 9th, uh, for their opening show is Rent over at uh, the Santa Clarita Performing Arts Center. More information at canyonspac.com or you can keep listening because I have some several guests in studio. We have Matt, Shannon, Colin, and Sitara all in studio and I pronounced everybody's name right. Okay, that is good news. Uh, and uh, we're talking, we're talking, how are you guys doing? Fantastic. Great. Good. Great. Thank That's you. good news. Okay, I'm going to talk to, uh, who do I want to talk to first? Let's talk to Shannon. Shannon first, since you're sitting right there. And we knew each other, but you, you were incognito yes, this time. Yeah, so grab that microphone, pull it nice and close to you. It's not yes, going to bite you too hard. Um, but uh, how are you involved in the show? Uh, I'm the choreographer. Okay, so lots of dancing in Rent, right? Um, not traditional dancing, but more movement that comes organically from the characters. So okay. Okay, more so pedestrian type movement. Staged movement that doesn't look staged. Okay, so do you, as a choreographer for a play, obviously, you know, uh, so do you choreograph every single movement? Not every single Not every movement. single one, okay. Uh, there, this is sort of a rock opera, so there's a lot of singing and a lot of music. And um, so I do some of the bigger production numbers, and um, sometimes I give suggestions for movements and see what the artists come up with themselves. Okay, yeah, I think it's more of a collaboration between the artist and Shannon, yes. the choreographer. Fantastic. And we come together and come up with really creative ideas that go well with our characters and the style that she likes and she yeah. knows how to clean it up and make it look good from the outside. Yeah, okay, so uh, I wanna, maybe this is for both of you and uh, Shannon and Matt, but Rent's been around a long time and it's been done, you know, thousands of times how do you keep it keep the story you know the the story the same but also make it your own how, do, how does that how does that work and matt matt is the director by the way for the, the show coming up so yeah i think with these pieces that have had such a huge splash when they first came out it is always a challenge to figure out well, how do you make this your own and i think it comes back to going just to back to the roots of the play and trying not to look at what has been done but what are you getting from the play itself from the text from the music from uh, imagery that you're looking up for, from the era because it is a 90s play uh -huh. uh, and it's supposed to take place in the 90s at the end of the millennium as it says in the script so um, so there is information that comes to you and I think you respond to that in whatever way and I think if you do if you go from there every production will have its own flavor because it will all come from something unique fantastic okay uh, and I wanted to ask you um, for people who don't know what rent? What's the story of rent? I probably should ask that first. Mm, but rent. but what is what is rent? Rent. Um, everybody has to pay rent, so yeah. it's about everybody. <laughs> um, rent is uh, about a group of Bohemians uh, in New York at the end of the '90s, um, struggling to get by while still being true to their art, uh, and uh, in the shadow of AIDS. So it has a very serious overtones, and it deals with very serious themes. But it it has this amazing way of mixing very uplifting high energy music and story and then kind of weaving it into this very uh, dense and beautiful rich love story as well as tragedy and I mean there's a lot that happens in, in the story it's very thick if you if you want to find out you should probably you should probably go to the, you should probably go, go see it you I think probably that's the, the best way to do it yeah. is just to go yeah probably Definitely probably yeah. probably we also have uh, Colin and Sitara and they are actor and actress in the play and uh, how did you guys find out about this? And was it something that you guys have seen before and you were like, oh, I have to be a part of this? Or what was your process there? <laughs> um, well, I've, I've known Rent since I was about 10 years old. Um, and I was obsessed as a child, which as a child learning about AIDS was very interesting. But I still, be I believe it's, it. <laughs> it's, an, it's an amazing show. Um, I found out about the auditions due to some fluke. I knew somebody who was working at the theater and said, hey, I hear there's a rumor that we might be picking up rent, and uh, if you want to audition, I'll keep you up to date. And uh, that's pretty much how I got involved in this production, but uh, I've, I've known rent for quite some time. Okay, so you've known it. And yeah, I'm, I'm actually an alumni. I graduated 
many years ago <laughs> from COC um, doing theater there. And when Rent came around, I just couldn't resist. It's one of those musicals that everybody, everybody can identify with. Absolutely. It's about living in the moment. And it's just, it's rock and roll, you know, with amazing <laughs> themes like we were talking about. And to top it off, I, I couldn't resist because... The directors there, choreographers, the stage production value is amazing. I've only had really good experiences. I've done a lot of theater, and that stage is one of my most favorite stages to perform on. So I was like, I, I, I'm going to go do it. Because it just seems like the planets aligned for you. <laughs> It, it, they really did. I feel like I'm in the right place at the right time. I'm really glad. It's the first time I'm working with Matthew. And oh, just brilliance all around. And our Colin over here, our Mark the Lead, <laughs> is absolutely phenomenal. He carries the show so well. He's an amazing narrator and just gives so much to the other actors. And it's, it's a musical that actually interacts with the audience a little bit. So it's going to be so much fun. Everyone has to come. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> something about Rent that, that used to draw me to it. Um, I did see it through the original two leads when they passed, uh, when they did their last tour through California. Oh, fantastic. And uh, that was one of the most inspiring parts for me is to see that this show isn't traditional in the way that certain characters break the fourth wall and get the audience involved. And that's an emotional involvement that not a lot of shows can bring to an audience. Is that what, is that, because Rent, obviously, because when you talk to theater people about Rent, you get what Sitar just did. You get they get super passionate, and they're like, "This, you know, Rent is it's up on a pedestal." So, what is it about Rent? It gives that makes you different? everything. It's gonna make you cry. It's gonna make you laugh. It's gonna make you think. It's gonna surprise you. That's why Rent is so great because it's just gonna give you like a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> and I feel like when you go watch any sort of theater, that's kind of what you want. So I mean, yeah, absolutely. Rent, um, Rent has this way of making you look at what you've done, and it makes you think: Have you been true to who you really are? And you know, what's what's your life really about? What's what are you what are you about? Um, my character has to go through a huge story arc due to, you know, friends and due to what his life is going to be, whether or not he's going to sell out or stay true to what he believes in, which is being free and being who you are, and so. Growing up and being in college, I, I feel like that that hits home. And uh, am I still on the right path? Did I did I choose the right major? And that's where I hit home with Mark, as opposed to several other characters in the show. And another thing about Rent, and hopefully I'm I'm correct on this, is it brings a cast together like no other. I've met several people who have done done the show in different cities, and they have said that this is the closest they've ever been to people, and they couldn't be more right. I we have a cast of sixteen, I believe, mm -hmm. and I would do anything for any of them. We see each other on a constant basis to the point where I this is the most I've gone without seeing them in the past four. Hours. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's on withdrawal. And yeah, I'm here, I'm here, and I'm, I'm with Sitar You're right now. Family, <laughs> and you you can sense that and. It's um, it's palpable when you get together with the cast. It's just really a loving, lovely group of people. I'm sure it's gonna find a way to do that with the audience too. To be yes. honest, yeah, to make us feel like we're all connected and in the moment. And I love my fa one of my top favorite themes of this show is how you lose everything, whether it's material things or people relationships in your life. And sometimes it's necessary to lose things so you can realize that you still have everything, if not more, when you have nothing. And it's just it's so touching. You guys got to come and see it. <laughs> <laughs> you can find more information, canyonspac.com, and uh, you can go buy tickets there. Or, uh, it, But it starts... Uh, I know for a fact. May actually, 9th. May 9th. Friday, it's a Friday, May not 9th. a Saturday. Yes. Five shows only. Oh, there's only yeah. five shows? Yeah. Yes. Oh, holy five cow. Shows. Get your tickets Two now. Two weekends. Get your tickets. Okay. Yeah. So go get your tickets now. And I forgot to ask you guys, so you're the lead. What What is the lead character's name? Uh, the lead's character is uh, Mark Cohen. Mark Cohen. and I'm Sitar Maureen. Maureen. Yes. Okay. My okay. ex-girlfriend. Okay. She oh. is. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and you know, she mentioned the uh, that the the show kind of stays with you, uh -huh. has this kind of lasting effect. And I was introduced to it in 1996 when I was in college. Okay. And I've sort of stayed with it as well. Like it's never really left me. So this, 
I can attest to that, that when audiences experience it, it's something that really sticks with you and you kind of carry it along because it's, it's themes that you just, that go deep. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, go see it. Go see it. May go buy, 9th, your buy your tickets 10th, now. 10th, 11th, okay. 16th, 16th, and 17th. <laughs> only five shows. <laughs> only okay. five. So only right. five shows. Okay, so make sure you go to Canyons PAC right now and right go buy now. your tickets. Uh, May 9th, Friday. May 9th is your first show. Thanks, guys. And, and uh, what is it? Uh, break a leg, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or the French say, I don't know if you know this, the it's French say, out. into the mouth of the wolf, right? Oh. <laughs> Well, right? dancers, you don't say oh, you break don't a leg, too. You say oh, that's merde. right, yeah. You say merde. Uh, which, merde? Yes, which... How was that? Was that good? Not bad. Okay, all right. All right good. Uh, break a leg and merde. 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 Okay. <laughs> oh, that was a rough, rough ending there for me. That was my fault. I apologize. But go see it. CanyonsPAC.com. Rent is coming to the Santa Clarita Performing Arts Center. Powerhouse fire continues to blaze and 30 homes have been destroyed. What does the Tilted Kilt brand represent to you? Yeah.